step in to occupy. We've been talking about possessing the promises of God. And though we understand that we've got to walk into the fullness of what God has for us, uh, it all begins with that first step. Uh, it, it's not going to be of any use if we know all that uh, we need to do and yet we never act on it. And so uh, taking that first step is, is very, very important. Joshua 1.3 Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. And this is an instruction God gives Joshua when, when uh, the leadership is transitioned over to Joshua and Joshua has to lead the people. But one thing that uh, God is telling him that every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, which means that Joshua would need to move forward. He would need to move towards the territory uh, which God had promised Israel and he, he needed to fight and lead the people uh, into occupying that territory. So when he walks on that territory, you know, it, it's it, in a sense becomes twice his. Uh, and it's the same thing for us. God wants us to step in. God wants us to move in. God wants us to, to occupy the territory which He has uh, given to us. And so as, as uh, believers today, you know, we're talking about the spiritual promises of God, but walking into those promises will begin with taking a step. So as we identify the territories uh, of God's promises towards us, you know, we can ask God, we can ask Him for His wisdom and say, God, how would you like me to step into, uh, to begin to engage in the territory that you have for me, O oh God? Uh, and if we're already engaged in what God has called us to do, we can ask God for an increase and say, God, uh, uh, enable me, O oh God, to, to uh, have the wisdom uh, such that I truly make a great impact for your kingdom. And we sort of talked about this earlier as well, that God expects us to occupy in full, meaning He wants us to move into His promises in such a way uh, that, that you know, we, we receive of His fullness and we are also able to give of that fullness into the lives of the people. So uh, some of the words that, that uh, you know, really must stand out for us are words like impact, uh, transform, Right, so this is what we uh, we should look to or envision to to pass on uh, to touch the lives of others around us, and along with this, in, in whatever God has called us to do, uh, another another aspect for for us to think about is is not just doing the work that God has called us to do, but to leave behind a legacy to leave behind uh, something that will bless the generations to come. And, and so uh, this, this could be, uh, you know, uh, uh, pioneering something new that God has called us to do or, or setting high standards, the way we do business, uh, the, way, the, the way we work, where we leave behind those standards uh, which can be followed by the coming generation. So uh, there's a whole lot that we can ponder about uh, stepping in to occupy and engaging in the promises of God to fully receive of His blessings. But the first step is critical and, and God is calling us to, to walk in and God wants us to begin to move into these promises. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh God, for uh, the territory uh, that you're showing us. And Lord, indeed, you are our good shepherd, Lord. Thank you that you will lead us, Father God. Lord, you, you will lead us, Father God, to green pastures. And God, I pray your guidance, Father, over every life and every heart. Lord, uh, I pray, O oh God, that uh, there will be clarity in, in what we need to do. And I pray, especially for those, Father, who, who have to take a, a, a significant next step in their lives, oh God, that Father, that your grace will be upon them. I pray that, uh, Lord, you will confirm, uh, Lord, your word to them in, in a very, very special way, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you are uh, a covenant God, Jehovah Rohi, Lord. You will lead us. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.